Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Gray Beer Garage. My name is Matt, and today we're back up here on our property up in North Florida, and we're gonna do some more work in our uh, shed to cabin conversion. So today, what we're going to do is work on this back wall and the fr and the um, the front wall. So we're gonna go ahead and do the back wall and the front wall the same way we've done the ceiling here, and we've used old pallet wood that we reclaimed. So we're just gonna do the same thing here with the back wall and the front wall, or as I call it, the west wall and the east wall. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that and we'll get you going and show you what we're doing there. And uh, that'll be today's project. And then I think also in this video, you'll probably see us doing the floor, I hope, depending on how much I get done. So hang in there guys, and we're gonna go ahead and get started on that now. So guys, I went ahead and started just to kind of see if I could get the angle correct this board here in the corner and the angle looks pretty darn good so we started with that board kind of going from the top down just so i can get all these nasty little angle cuts done first and then we'll work across this way and then down so all right okay guys so here's about i don't know probably 20 minutes worth of work and we're i don't know not quite halfway over yet all right, so here we are about halfway through. Um, a couple of the boards over the window are kind of not quite, um, what's the word I'm looking for, plumb. But I kind of straighten them out here towards the end. So now this one is dead straight and we'll just work our way now down here and then we finish out the rest over there. All right guys, so here we are two and a half hours later. And our back wall is done, or what I call the west wall. That is done. The only thing I need to do is kind of just trim in around the uh, the window there. And then that is done. So that turned out really great. And of course it matches up real nice with the ceiling. And this again, this is all from just um, scrapped out pallet boards. Okay guys, so now we're on our front door side and you can see we started up top, we got our angles all cut in and now we're going to work from here over. I do need to make some adjustments. I need to take that um, four gang box out and I'm going to reduce it down to a three gang box and then we can finish across this wall here and then we'll be able to move it on to the next step. So I wanted to show you real quick a couple of the tools I'm using for this um, wall that we're doing. The first one is this tool here and I'm using this to measure the angle of the roof and I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's go inside and take a look at that. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. So I take this tool and I push it up here and I use the flat end here, plastic against the wall. And then I make sure I run my metal piece up here. And that gives me that angle of that uh, ceiling. So that's how I get my, my angle for the top cuts like I did up here. And so I'll go outside and show you how I transfer that over to the wood. Guys, here's what I do is I take this tool, place it on the wood here, and then I would describe it right there and then I make my cut from there so that's how I get my angles uh, for those to go up against the ceiling all right so now you can see we're more than halfway done we're almost completely done here um, but what I had let me explain real quick here originally we had a four gang box in here which was this box and I had intended to do possibly a fan so I had my porch light ceiling and then we would have had a fan switch and then an outlet but we didn't do a fan so i needed to get rid of that four gang and put in a three gang box and when i did the original install somehow i managed to put the main hot to this and then this was controlling this and this so i rewired all those took out the four gang put in a three gang and now we're just going to finish up uh filling this in and then we'll be done all right, so now you can see we've got this whole 
uh, wall done and this would be our uh, east facing wall or the front door and so now this wall is done and you can see it looks pretty good let's go around here kind of show you down on the floor that's it guys hey guys thanks for joining us again today on great beer garage um, so again this was our little uh, shed to home shed to cabin conversion we worked on our front and back walls getting them filled in with the uh, reclaimed pallet wood so that was kind of fun this weekend took a lot more time than I actually anticipated it taking especially with this wall here because we had to do a lot of weird cuts but anyway it's done let me know what you guys think if this is the kind of content that you would like to keep seeing please hit that like button and comment and let us know what you're enjoying here on the uh, the channel as always, guys, thanks so much for uh, subscribing. For those of you that haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so as it does help the channel. And for those of you that have uh, subscribed already, we would like to say thank you very much. We do appreciate it. Again, guys, this is Great Beer Garage. My name is Matt. Thanks for joining us today. Remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Thanks so much. See you next time.